Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. So it feels like every week there is a new TikTok hack or method or rule that you are supposed to follow to fully optimize your outfits. And although I don't think you should put yourself in a box or follow any of these as being the only way of dressing, I do think they can be helpful if you are in a style rut or you are wanting kind of a new fresh take on putting together outfits, especially in most cases, it's more about utilizing what you already own versus buying something new. And today I'm gonna be trying the TikTok seven point outfit system. In summary, it's where each item is a point and the idea is having a minimum of seven points to make a more elevated outfit. It reminds me of the wearing versus styling outfit trend from a couple of years ago where it was showing how much of a difference accessorizing and focusing on details with an outfit makes. But the seven point system is like gamifying that, which I kind of prefer because it forces you to be creative to hit that seven points. Obviously, I don't think an outfit with a bunch of accessories versus an outfit without accessories is necessarily more stylish, but if you are someone that doesn't wear a lot of accessories and you're wanting to get more comfortable with adding even a few more, I think this could be a cool method to try. And that is what I'm going to be doing today. I will be comparing the more minimal styling version of the outfit versus the seven point version of the outfit and see, does it actually make a difference. I'm actually starting off pretty strong with the more minimal version. I will not be counting my earrings, my Apple watch, my ring as a point just because I always wear them. And so I, I don't really feel like they actually make an impact in an outfit. So those are just out of the way. This outfit, I technically have one, two, three, four, five, six, including the socks, which the creator said that socks count towards the points. And so I have six points already. This would be an outfit I would walk out of the door right now in, and I think is kind of where my comfort and just automatic styling goes to. I sometimes wear necklaces, sometimes I don't wear necklaces. You can't see the waist in me styling this button up this way, so I don't have a belt or anything. And I want to try to add obviously some more to get to seven or eight points just to see if it makes a little bit of a difference. But I feel like this outfit is honestly great exactly how it is. I've added three points to this outfit. So I am on nine points. This outfit is a nine point outfit. I have the brown belt and I added two necklaces. There's like more of a simple just chain and then just kind of like a little coin. And I think this outfit is equally as cute. It's just another way of wearing it. This system would probably be more helpful during fall and winter because you could just layer so many sweaters and button ups and jackets versus in the spring and summer, it could be a little bit more challenging, but I wanna see what a jacket would look on top. I decided to go for a black leather jacket versus brown because I have a lot of like brown shoes, brown bag, brown belt, and it was just a little too matchy matchy. So I wanted to add like a, a different element in it. And I think this outfit is cute. I would wear this outfit. I would wear all three versions of this outfit. Do I think it's cuter than the first version? I don't know. I think they're both great. You'll have to let me know which one you prefer or you think looks better. The one thing I am trying not to do is to just throw a bunch of crap <laughs> onto an outfit to be able to hit like seven points or more to be like, oh, I'm stylish because I don't think that necessarily is what this is supposed to be be and I could understand maybe then not liking this system because it's more focused on like a number that you need to hit versus what the outfit, like what would actually make a difference. But yeah, this is the first one. And I, th I mean, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> Sorry for doing denim back to back. I promise the next one will, uh, 
I was gonna say it's not gonna have any denim, but I'm, I'm actually not gonna promise that. It may have some denim. But this is the dress I actually thought of when I first saw the TikTok about the seven point outfit system because I love this. I've worn it so much, but I've really only styled it one way because I haven't really known what else to do with it because it's great on its own, so why, why mess with it? So here it is. I am wearing three points, shoes, dress, bag. Putting this together was a little challenging because yes, I could put on a jacket on top of the dress, but I think that is a little too easy and I am wanting to challenge myself a little bit. And so I have seven points here. The seventh point being this belt. And I don't know what it is about adding belts to the waist of dresses that I don't like. To me, I, I don't like this belt here. I'd way rather it just be how it normally is like really, really not loving that, but I could see how it does create an interest to the waist and another element to the outfit. I also have not worn this headband in like years, uh, but I wanted and needed in this case to hit the points uh, to, to, to put something in my hair. So, which I actually do think it looks really cute. My favorite thing about this outfit, honestly, is this little knit under the denim dress. I have not worn this denim dress layered on top of any top at all. And I think this fall and winter, I am definitely going to be doing that, especially then with the red tights like that. That is fun. What do we think with the cardigan? With the belt, I think, okay, then I, I kind of get having the belt there because then it would just be kind of up and down and it does make it interesting poking out of the cardigan. I think I like this better than the headband. This outfit, we are starting off with four points. I have my maxi velvet dress, some black tights and then black boots and my black bag. This is an outfit that I think is absolutely fantastic, exactly how it is even at four points, but I can understand how it could feel a little black. I can't tell if I like this option or not. I think I do. It's it is interesting. I added four more items, this silver belt, the glittery cardigan, the floral necklace, and then I just had like a thing of black string that I added as a choker. And I mean, I think it I think it does work. It feels witchy. It feels fall. I have talked about also even these types of belts that I'm not sure, do they go on the waist? Do they go on the hip? And I find that they can look a little awkward on me, but I think with the velvet, with it being just like one solid maxi length, I can understand having this in there is just a little bit more interesting. And then with the cardigan, like I do think this is pretty fun. I wanna put a jacket on top though for like a little topper. Actually, just kidding about the jacket, it does ruin it. I don't know, I think because the cardigan is in longer, it looks a little awkward, so I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> Although I don't think I'm doing anything absolutely wild, like I'm really only adding a couple of accessories. I can see how adding even just a couple of necklaces, even one necklace can make a difference in an outfit with styling it. And this I think does actually make a difference. I like it. I'm gonna wear it, the dress, how I styled it originally, but I think also this is a really fun, option as well. I wanted to include an outfit with this skirt because I thrifted it a couple of months ago and I've only worn it like one or two times and I wore it exactly the same way. And it's because I just don't know what to put with it to make it into an interesting outfit like this. I think this is a cute outfit. It's not, it's not like amazing, but it's, it's good. So I want, I want to see how I can layer and what I can put with it to make it just look better. This outfit is giving 2014 Tumblr soft grunge and I'm not mad about it. I actually really love the additions that I made. This outfit I think is nine points. I added this black silver belt, the vest, the necklace technically, it's like three and one necklace. So I'm just gonna count it as one point. The tights with the white socks is kind of giving me the ick. There's something about like white socks with tights. I don't know. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And I don't know how it's looking with the loafers. I could wear it without, obviously, the socks, but I was trying to get as many points as possible. And I think this is 
really cute. Again, I could put a jacket with it if it was a little bit chilly. Again, then that, that would add more points to it, which isn't the point, but actually is the point, the point, the point of the point of the points. <laughs> the point of the video is to utilize as many points to see if it makes a difference. And I think this outfit definitely does make a difference and would be something that I would walk out of the house in right now. Jeans, I do think are the most difficult because you can only do so much layering. I mean, the top portion, of the outfit is where you kind of have fun with different layering, but there's not too much you can actually do with the bottom. I am starting out with three points. I have some boots, the jeans, the top. I would walk out of the house again exactly like this and I feel super cute. I'm not counting my socks by the way, because you can't see them. I just want to see what I can come up with to make this outfit a little more interesting. I don't think this is too far off from where we started. I really just added the finishing touches. Again, necklace, this little button up, a belt. This is an eight point outfit. I think I will put a jacket on top. Another thing I forgot to mention is like hair clips. Any type of hair accessory is counted as a point. I cannot find my hair clips for some reason. I think they're in my car. I don't know. So I'm not, utilizing my hair like I could to really make even more so of an impact. But I will say usually with outfits, depending on how my hair is styled and like how dirty it is, it's it's usually just gonna stay like that because if I put it up and then I take it down, it's basically ruined for the rest of the day. It's just very finicky. So I usually don't necessarily utilize that very much, but that is also a thing that you could do to add a point into your outfit. Maybe you have six points in an outfit and you're like, oh, I just I feel like it needs something more, but I don't really want to layer too much. You could do something fun and funky with your hair as well. With adding the leather jacket, you definitely lose a lot of the pieces that are under it, but with layering kind of this button up, the nice part is it still pokes through. So even if the jacket is mainly covering most of the outfit, like the button up pokes through and then you can see like the buttons of the top and then the necklaces. So I think it does still make a cool impact with the layering additions. This is such a cozy outfit. I 100% will be wearing it this winter because it's like three layers. I am very warm filming in it right now, but I think it's so cute. Alrighty, let me know what you think of the seven point outfit method. Have you tried it? Do you think it makes a difference? I only did five outfits because I, I feel like after the first two, it's like, okay, you add more pieces, it adds points, you know, like we, we get it. And so I didn't want to do like a bunch of outfits, especially because a lot of the items that maybe I would have added to an outfit, like I would have already done and naturally it would have been a seven point outfit, which loses kind of this focus of like, it needs to be seven points and more. But I think in the future, when I'm putting together an outfit, I will have it in the back of my mind. Again, I don't think an outfit needs to have seven items, seven points to be a good outfit. But if I am feeling like meh, which there were a couple, like I mentioned, that, you know, they were a cute outfit, but I've styled it the same way over and over again. How can I do something different? And maybe focusing on a number to layer could be, an option. In the comments of the TikTok about this method, so many were saying that this was life-changing, that now this is like the way that they always put together an outfit. So I can definitely see how it could be helpful. And again, I think it did help me in areas. The only thing is then I was, I kind of have the issue of putting too much with an outfit sometimes to make it more interesting. And then it's not wearable or cute. And I think focusing on a number that every outfit has to be could possibly help me fall into that all the time. Um, a lot of times less is more for me versus like, let's just keep throwing stuff on there so I can get as many points, which I mean, it's it's just outfits. Uh, it's just items that you're putting on. It's, it's not that serious, but as I was doing it, I was like, I want as much points as I can get. How many points can I 
add to this outfit so you can it can be a lot of points, you know? But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I just honestly wanted to try it out and figured I would make a video on it. If you would like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I will see you all in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.